As climbers are a complicated character, and it can often feel overwhelming to learn them on a basic level compared to some of the more standard melee characters. In this video, I hope to explain 5 key skills and techniques that every beginner and intermediate Ice Climbers player should learn to take their game to the next level. This video isn't going to include basic universal melee techniques such as wave dashing, short hopping, and L-canceling, but instead focus on Ice Climber specific tech. That being said, it's still important to have the melee basics down when learning Ice Climbers. Down throw down air timing and types. Down throw down air is a key part to Ice Climber's punish game in almost every matchup. It can serve as an easy way to rack up damage, a method of pushing your opponent towards the ledge to set up a handoff, or even as a way to mix up your opponent's DI by making them DI away for the down air, then hitting them with a strong move like down smash or forward smash. There are multiple types of down throw down airs that all Ice Climber players should learn. You can perform a down throw down air out of using both a full hop down air and a short hop down air from Nana. Changing Nana's positioning can also help you send your opponent to different spots with the combo. Sending the opponent behind you and grabbing them with a turnaround grab is especially useful because it allows you to set up the opponent for guaranteed corner handoffs. You can also use the reverse version of down throw down air to mix up your opponent's DI by sending them behind you and immediately hitting them with a down smash. Down throw up smash and follow ups. Another staple of Ice Climber's punish game, especially in the post wobbling era, is down throw up smash. This combo is particularly strong versus Fox, Falco, and Captain Falcon, as you can get a re-grab after. If they DI to a platform, wave land on the platform and try to tech chase. Wave dash after the up smash to catch a way DI. Versus floaty characters, you can perform combos such as down throw up smash into forward air. At higher percent, down throw up smash is also a key kill confirmed to have down versus most characters. This combo is started with down throw, so the timing will be different for each character, with lighter characters being faster and heavier characters being slower. Dash Dance Desync Most Ice Climber players know the basic desync methods such as rolling, spot dodging, and grabbing. These are great places to start, but are often too slow and make your desync easy to see coming for your opponent. A good way to avoid this is using a Dash Dance Desync. Dash Dance Desync allows you to mask your intentions in neutral, as dash dancing is a common thing to see in neutral, while also giving you more precision in where you place your Nana's move after desyncing. This is why I especially love using Dash Dance Desync Blizzard setups. To perform a Dash Dance Desync Blizzard, dash forward, dash back, then dash forward again, and after the final dash, roll your stick from forward into down and hold B. Both types of handoffs. Ice Climbers can perform handoffs from both forward throw and down throw. It's important to know how to do both and also what situations each handoff type is best suited for. Down throw handoffs help you optimize damage output while doing corner handoffs because they don't move the opponent as far forward for each regrab, allowing you to do more handoffs. Forward throw handoffs can put the opponent in a position where corner handoffs are guaranteed when your initial grab position wasn't in the guaranteed corner handoff range. This is also important for being able to get guaranteed handoff sequences on platforms. Having mastery over forward throw handoffs is also very convenient because the timing is consistent versus every character while the timing for down throw handoffs is dependent on the character's weight. Auto cancel aerials. Short hop auto cancel aerials, specifically up air and back air, are probably the most important thing that I consistently see low and mid level ice climber mains neglecting to learn and implement into their play. Auto cancel up air and back air are important tools for comboing, anti airing, playing at a shield, and poking in neutral. To perform an auto cancel up air, I recommend using A instead of C stick. You need to do the up air while still rising in your short hop, so I short hop with Y then slide my thumb down and press A while rising. I use the same method for doing auto cancel back air. I know many people use C stick for all their aerials, but this is one instance where I think using A can help you perform these aerials more consistently.